friends you are? My name is Carter Matthews. I'm a speedster from the future. Oh, uh, fun. Not. I hate speedsters. And I hate second rate magicians. I'm a sorcerer. Cry me a river. What do you want, Carter? I want you to do me a favor. I've also got an opportunity for you. What's the opportunity? Well, that depends on how you do with a favor. What's the favor? How about I give you two in one? Shoot your shot. Well, the opportunity is that I'm forming a team. I had one before, known as the League of Evil, so we might as well use that name again. I'm calling upon Damien Thomas and Malcolm Hunter to join me on my crusade. In due time, I'll rope them into the equation, but the offer goes to you as well. You want me to join your team? I do. However, a test of faith, an initiation, if you will. What do you want me to do? Atta boy. I'm hoping you can cause a distraction for me in this very city, on a different world. Sounds like a plan. Agent Stevens. Director Hurst. Good morning. Director Green said you'd be here. That's correct, sir. Why did you enroll in the UK department when you're from here? The British office is known for its training academy. Correct. But it isn't about the training school. It's about the training officer. Sir? Agent Stevens, meet Special Agent Michael Bradley. Yeah, <laughs> we have a mutual friend. Doesn't mean I'm going easy on you. Special Agent Bradley will be overseeing your training time as a rookie. You will be heading back to the United Kingdom soon enough, but whilst you're both in the States, you can get started on building your relationship as Boot and T.O. Sir? I'm heading out. You got this? Yes, boss. Agent Stevens, welcome to your shop. It is not a car or a tactical vehicle. It is a shop. Uh, understood. Good. We're going to drive to Green Beach. Understood. Standard protocol. To check all equipment. And the shop are ready for patrol. Understood. Checklist. Four bags are stocked. The shop is filled with gas. The shop is also in pristine condition. Good. Now get in. Last check. Um. Yourself. You're carrying a loaded firearm. With no idea what happens next. I'm good. Then let's get to work. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Not at all. What is it that you're doing again? I've got a potential job interview. Oh, look at you. Trying to find a new way in life. Trying to keep busy. That sort of thing. Thanks. Jason's busy with the new space fleet and all that, and I just want to try something new. As you should. I'll be back later. Thanks again. Mira's been so busy. It's all good. Well done, baby Jonathan. Looks like it's just you and me. <coughs> What's your story, kid? Sir? Why did you want to join Delta? Not up for talking, are you? Well, it's a good thing I read your file. I see that you were part of Section 20, Ex-Army, Military Intelligence. But your colonel was killed in action. Delta isn't much different, Boot. You will still see death, feel loss. It's what you do with that pain that shows you who you really are. I want to show you something. Better be pizza.
All right, cunt. Really? What? There's a kid in here, man. Sorry, brother. You good? Nah. I thought you were a pizza guy. Ah, pain. What are you even doing here? Myra reached out. Thought you'd be bored as fuck. That's nice. How is she? Unfortunately, she's still in pain. What happened? Alison died. Fuck. I... I didn't know that. Well, she's been trying to keep it quiet, you know. It's, um... It's hard for her. She'll be back soon, though. Good to know. What are we doing? You'll see. Hey, uh, y you were right about the other day. Last week I, s I showed so much enthusiasm for their ship, I mean, all the possibilities. That's the thing, Parker. Most people who normally don't get to see a time ship, by the way, they would react the same as you. Most people want to run towards a new adventure. But you're different. Being ex-army makes you worried that everybody's out to get you. It's you or the enemy. Out here, it's not so black and white. You saw that ship and wanted to run away from your life. Because you don't know how to switch off. Perhaps. I mean, take the other day, for example. We chased that guy down in Blue Valley. We, he tried to kill us, and moments later, we were, we were saving his life. It's just so different. You're still in that headspace where everyone is either a friendly or an enemy combatant. It's my job to help you change that mindset. These people are your neighbours. Some are neighbours with problems who do stupid things, crazy things, selfish things. But they're just people. I want you to take a look around and tell me what you see. Uh, past six people on our way in. Four males, two females. This is Blue Park. Hillside to our back gives us a tactical advantage. Well spotted, but I want you to be in the present. Not thinking about potential threats. What do you see here? Oh, it's a ladybug. Cute. No, it's adorable. See the tiny spots? Focus on them. I want you to take a deep breath. Feel the sun. Go ahead. Close your eyes. I'll cover you. This is your present. You made it home. Life is good. You're safe. When you're in the country, everything's hostile. Never turn it off. Only turn it down. You don't need to be so aware anymore. Parker, you need to learn that not everyone is out to get you. I don't know how to live like that anymore. You will do, in time. Hi there. You must be Director Hurst. Jack's fine. You've got an impressive resume, Mrs. Knight. Thank you. I can see that you've been an IT technician for Space Fleet, but you left just before it blew up. Uh, that looks bad. I was just off for maternity leave. So you have a child? I do. Congratulations to you and the General. Do you know my husband? Only by reputation. I see. So, what made you want to apply for Delta? I needed a change of pace. You won't be disappointed then. Follow me. Wait, do I have the job? Let's use this as a trial day. Whew. That was a scenic drive. This place is cool! Yeah, you could say that. You know where you are? About three blocks from Unity Park. Good. It's vital you're aware of your location. In case you're ambushed. In trouble or we get split up during a fight. Understood. So, where's your friend? Connor's gonna be in his office, which is only a five minute walk from here. Cool, it seems like a really safe city. You had to go and jinx us. None of these people are gonna know what's hit them. You ever been on patrol before? 
No. But my father was in the army when I was younger. He taught me everything. You never wanted to enlist? My brother got the chance to join up when I was younger. But he was killed. I'm sorry. He was kidnapped and taken. Section 20 ended up finding his lifeless body in the hall. Pakistan. I'm so sorry. Yeah. They found him with a bullet in his head. Shit. Yeah, I didn't really feel like risking my life after all that. When was this? 2011. To the imperialist powers of the West, I confess to the crime of being a British spy, trespassing on the holy soil of Pakistan. IP tracking locked. We have location. No snipers visible. Our sons murdered. The holy place is desecrated. Latif demands the immediate release of all his oppressed brothers being held in British and American prisons. In position. Head cams up. Stone. Colonel. Bring John home. With pleasure. But they lost him. John McKelligan. I was there at zero. HQ? I was a major back then. I had just gotten back from my previous tour. We were too late, and from that day, I just couldn't face another day of Section 20. So, I started running Delta. It's not a coincidence that you were there, is it? No. Your brother and I had worked together before. We did two tours of Iraq together. But I couldn't save your brother even though he was the kindest and bravest man. The last time I saw him, he asked me to look out for you. But I knew you didn't need protecting, and having me around would have been a burden. But what I can do is give you a job to come and work with me at Delta. Were you there when he... I saw the video when they sent it to us. Butter. No effort has been made to free the brothers being held by the American and British dogs. Cowards, you make me fucking laugh! Butter. Instead... The blood of other martyrs has been spilled in a ridiculous attempt to rescue me. Why don't you just get on with it? You sad fucking pricks! Satellite lock in three minutes. That's it, must speak in the only language the West understands. Blood. I'm so sorry. You're the one who had to watch it. You saw it too. When I was ready for it. You weren't ready. No, we were not. What the hell was that? This is Director Hurst. I'm at the explosion site. Send backup. Uthazi Major Equestrius. <laughs> what the hell? What's the plan? We knock on the fuck out. Roger that. Well, what do we do? You stay back. Help people get out of here. On it. Oi, cunt! Who are you? Name's Michael. Why are you doing this? What are you getting out of it? Satisfaction? You asking me a question, or is that your answer? Satisfaction. Better. So, just one more thing. What? Do me a favor and give me some satisfaction by stopping yourself from looking like a total prick. You're colorful. Fuck off. You're causing mass havoc. You're like a child wanting attention. I think you need a time out. What is this? Great distraction, Mike. Thanks. Never thought a special agent in Delta could start off a distraction with Oi, 
can't. Only some of us are that gifted. Really? <laughs> it's good to see you. Likewise. Special Agent Bradley, please don't use the tactic of slagging off a criminal. Sorry, boss. Lucky I don't call Director Green. Leave Tom out of it. What are you even doing out here? I'm seeing Connor. I'm training my boot. Boot? Training agent. Right, sir. If you've got it, I'm gonna find Connor. Of course you are. Where are you staying? Connor paid off some family to go away for a week. I'm staying just down there. You remember Parker? Hey, good to see you again. You have some lungs on you. Thanks, boss. Of course. Lucy Knight, meet Parker Stevens. Pleasure. I'm training him how to come to terms with everyday life. Well, Mike is a great teacher. Sure is. Can we go to your place? Follow me. What are you smiling at? You know, I could kill you all so easily. You, the man without a home and the recent mother who was away from her child. You know how I could kill you all with the snap of a finger. Don't make empty threats. You remind me of a beast. Perhaps I am one, because I promise you that if you step out of line, I'll put you down myself. I've killed thousands of men with rage just like you. Families with wives just like her, and leaders like him. But you've not been face to face with me, have you? You're interesting. I've never met a man quite like you. He just contradicted himself. Shh, Parker. No. Maybe you're all talk. All bite. I've worked with Michael a long time. He's definitely not just all talk. Nah, he's on the side of the angels. No, oh, I may be on the side of the angels. But don't, for one second, think that I am one of them. Maybe you are different. <laughs> I'll give you two minutes to give me Arkin, or I'll be coming inside and taking him from you. Hypothetically, is there ever a scenario when we just give him what he wants? I mean, sure, they're both pricks, but come on. Do we ever balance one life against the lives of many lives and make that call? That call isn't ours to make. We're here to serve and protect. We don't get to choose who we serve or who we protect. So you're willing to die for that guy? I am unwilling to let fear make me do something I'll be ashamed of in the light of day. Wait, where are you going? To talk. Damn it! Hello, Michael. Reverse blur. Stay here. No matter what happens to me, you protect him. Got it. Hey, leave him alone. You want to beat someone up, I'm right here. I just want Arkin. You give him up, and I'm out of here. I can't do that. I don't have anything against you two, but that moron in that house is coming with me. You're alone. And outnumbered. You know, I've been working here as head of Delta for a long time. I don't care. You should. Because I'm not alone, and I'm never outnumbered. You're under arrest. Turn around, get down on your knees. I don't think so. Matthews? We're leaving. Say hello to Jason for me, Lucy. I'd run if I were you. I'd run far away. Say hi to little John, too. <laughs> he took him, didn't he? Yeah. Speech does hurt. Maybe learn to keep quiet sometimes. Copy that. Right. Go home, get some rest. I'll see you Monday morning.
Yes, sir. See you soon. Say hi to Connor for me. Of course. It was nice meeting you, Parker. Likewise. Well, that was a complete failure. Oh, I disagree. You were a distraction. You didn't actually need the city in ruins. What next? Next? I'll be paying Damien a visit in 1987. Sounds lovely. I have other plans for you. What's that? I need you back on Earth-1. You're gonna resurrect a Titan for me. A Titan? Goes by the name of Kalok. The Abomination. Connor. Hey man. I'm sorry I'm late. Don't apologize. I appreciate the meeting. Where's your rookie? He's off at the mall. Looking to pass time. Well, I've got a friend back in the United Kingdom. Her name's Lexi. Lexi Ray. She's interested in joining the Legends. You want me to find her? Would you? Fine. I'll tell Myra. Mira will love her. You'll love her too. We'll see about that, mate. To friends. To friends.